Desk setups can quickly add up in cost, especially if you're eyeing some of those high-end accessories. But what if I told you that you can achieve that premium look without spending a fortune? For today's video, I'm super excited to share with you guys some budget-friendly premium desk accessories that I have used to up my productivity and aesthetic game of my setup. Let's dive right in. And if you're interested in any of the items that we talk about, the links to them will be in the description below. These are affiliate links that help support my channel at no extra cost to you. So without further ado, let's begin. First off, let's take a look at the Mind Design card holder. This is a fantastic stand-in for the popular Ugg Monk version, which comes in at $65, except Mind Design is priced at $35. I've been using it as a weekly goal tracker. It provides a clean and accessible way of displaying my weekly goals so that every morning when I'm here planning out my day, I have a fantastic workflow that makes sure that my daily tasks are flowing into my weekly goals. Plus, its premium walnut build just elevates the entire look of my desk. The starter kit comes with the walnut card holder as well as 120 cards, so it'll be a minute before you need to get any refills. Overall, if you're someone who's looking for an effective way to display and track your goals, this item is a must have. Moving on, I have this sleek desk shelf that I actually got from AliExpress. It's a perfect alternative to the pricier Grovemade shelves. And don't get me wrong, Grovemade items are super well made, but $210 for a desk shelf is a little out of budget for many people. So I found this very similar desk shelf, but at half the cost on AliExpress. And now my workspace looks much more organized as well as wireless. I've been able to mount my Dell docking station underneath it, which helps me connect my work laptop to my entire system. This desk shelf has made it so easy to switch between my different work systems. I just plug it in and slide it underneath. No clutter. The desk shelf also houses my Bluetooth speakers, a mounted wireless charger, remotes for my light, and my gaming mice for the occasional get with friends and get stomped on by hard sweats. Overall, this desk shelf is one of the best upgrades I've made to my desk setup. It's perfect for anyone who loves a clean aesthetic but also wants to organize their workspace a little bit better. For on the surface of my desk, I like to use the Hammer Ruby Felt Desk Mat. Priced at just $16, it's a much more affordable counterpart to the $55 Grove Made Pad. One of the bigger issues I've had with felt desk mats is flaying. When I'm cleaning my desk pads or sometimes just working on them, the small pieces of wool will rip off and sometimes jumble into these little fur balls. But this Hammer Ruby desk pad does not have this issue. I've had this desk pad for about three months and so far it's showed absolutely no signs of wear and tear. On top of that, it's super smooth. When using my mice, it almost feels like I'm gliding and has a feel comparable to gaming mouse pads from say Logitech. I got the light gray one since it contrasts nicely to the black leather desk mat that I have underneath, but they do come in other colors as well. Overall, I highly recommend this felt desk pad, especially if you're looking for something that complements those darker wood tones as well as the black and gray. When it came to my monitor lighting, I went with the Malifo light bar. This $40 gadget is an extremely viable alternative to the extremely popular $149 BenQ light bar. It offers four temperature settings and fully adjustable brightness settings that can be adjusted via either the light bar itself or the wireless puck that comes with it. I will say though that the temperature adjustment is not as flexible as BenQ, with only four strict temperature options. But I only use warm lighting anyway, and the warmth that the Malifo light bar provides for me is actually the perfect amount. This light bar lights up my workspace beautifully and overall creates that nice, warm, and inviting feeling at my setup. For an aesthetic backdrop, I was originally considering the Nano Leaf line, but I actually found something else, the Leehang Light Slicers, which came in at around $60. These are quite literally a budget-friendly carbon copy of the Nano Leaf lines. In fact, I'm a little shocked at how Nano Leaf can charge $160 for these plastic light-up RGB lines. In form and factor, the Leehang Light Slicers are no different than the Nano Leaf lines. They look stunning, offer full color and animation adjustments, and can even sync to music. There is, of course, also an app that you can download onto your phone to further these color and animation customizations. The only thing I have to say against these light bars is the adhesive. The adhesives that come with the light bars don't do a very good job at sticking to the wall. 
But after replacing them with adhesives from 3M, I wasn't having any issues anymore. Lee Hang offers these slicers in both black and white. So of course I went with the black one because I think the black complements the light gray wallpaper extremely well and adds that classy touch of modern feel. This next one is for my keyboard enthusiasts. If you want to get into keyboards, but don't really want to have a breakup conversation with your wallet, I think the $80 Techware Phantom Elite is definitely the way to go. This keyboard has been a keystone in my workflow. It makes typing super enjoyable. It comes with pre-built foam mods that give it that nice thock sound. There's also backlit RGB keys that can be fully customized using the Techware software. Both my partner and I actually got a set of these for ourselves. She got hers in white with pink switches and I got mine in black with reds. And of course, here's a quick sound test of what the keyboard sounds like. I do plan on doing some other mods to this keyboard in the future, so I may give you guys some updates on that later down the road. Another great thing that I love about this keyboard is the number of connections that I can have on it. When doing my day job, I have the keyboard set to one of the wireless connections. And if I want to switch to my personal workspace, I just have to input a simple command and the connection automatically switches. When I'm gaming, I just click the switch over to the wired connection and I'm good to go. Overall, this is a superbly built keyboard and honestly a fantastic entry point into the keyboard space. And last but not least, something that I could not go my day to day without, the Moss Road Risk Glider. A game changer for those long working sessions and at $17 for two, it's much more affordable than its counterparts such as the Delta Hub Carpio which is priced at $50. I work at my setup for up to eight hours at a time and I used to struggle with wrist cramps. These wrist gliders have essentially solved that entire issue for me. It elevates my wrist to the perfect height where gripping my mouse takes absolutely no effort. The silhouette of the glider also matches my palms perfectly. The skates at the bottom of the glider are super smooth and can follow my hand around anywhere on the desk mat without any resistance. For those super long work sessions, this wrist glider is a must. And that's it for today. Thank you everyone for watching and supporting this small channel. If you find my content insightful, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm always open to improve future content, so please don't be afraid to share your feedback. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.